We'll be working with him. Ed Malloy is the crew chief. The ball is up, and we are underway in the special MLK unis and this beautiful court. Great numbers in his career, averaging over 27 points a game against Minnesota. Well, this will be a great opportunity for him tonight to continue to get into the teeth of the defense and get as many easy baskets and dunk. When those opportunities arise, you got to take advantage gotta of them. Got to wear him out. Trey. Lobbing and Capella laying it in. Number three, rebound taken by Beasley. And guys, you see right there already, because of the easy shots down the, uh, uh, from the bigs, the open three-point shot is there. Now they're wide open because of the success in the paint, or at least getting into the yes. paint. Yes. Yeah, and, and again, it opens up your outside game. It really does. Kevin Herter. Playing as Coach Saunders has told them, when there's a ball in the wing, dive into the paint. They see something there for easy layups. There is Capella again getting inside. Trey, big lob and a big flush for John Collins. Uh, DeAndre Hunter does not run through the paint and attract the defense. So who drew it up, Coach Smith or Coach Guthridge I, or I Coach say, Williams? I'm going to say Coach Smith drew it up. My play is coming. And there's <laughs> nothing you could do about it because you had to respect Antoine Jamison's duck in. Right. Just like that. And here comes DeAndre Hunter. That's how DeAndre Hunter gets that slash down the paint. That's how you get the open three. That's how you get John Collins for the jump shot because he said, hey, okay, we don't have the break. Let's slow down and get, get right. to something. In that low low post, mid post area uh, as a Boston Celtic. So he's a very good rebounder down there. Oh, Russell man. gets back to that left hand that, and lays that, it that in. That was a sweet, crafty move there. Put him back in with Anthony Edwards. Have a veteran out there with him in the backcourt. Sneaking ahead is Capella. Got Young fellas, you got to run the floor. The Hawks bigs like to run. And he made, make it, made him leave it short. Well, you know, that's youth. That's that's that young inexperience. And Tony Snell knocks down the three. The two you didn't get, the three that the Hawks do get. 20 out of 30. But it has become a tradition now as the Ant-Man connects to make it his second field goal. Got to give it to him. Nice pass. Snell. Hits another corner three. Good to see this guy coming back. Just to see the decision making, you see Capella under control, under duress, made the right play, the right pass to an open Tony Snell. Davis comes back to gather and dunk his own miss for his first two. See, he, he, he's oozing with confidence right now, under control, very comfortable with his game right now. Trey moving in, moving out. Brandon Goodwin. Challenge late, and there's a flush follow for Capella. Sixth overall pick in the draft two summers ago out of Texas Tech. Mm -hmm. He and uh, Hunter, of course, went head-to-head -head in the national championship game. Trey with a deep three. I remember that. They were going at it. DeAndre Hunter. As the guys mentioned, Minnesota playing without their leading scorer, Carl Anthony Towns, as Trey hits another big three. He's got ten. On those last two threes by Trey. He's out there wide open. And it's not like he doesn't know him. <laughs> Here's a <laughs> turnover and a lob to Kevin. The middle closed. Cross court pass picked off. We see what he does with this one. <laughs> Ooh, he almost didn't make it. Get away by Minnesota. Jordan McLaughlin. Oh, on a oh, blind nice. bounce nice on the pass. run. Beauty. Pass. Yes, that was a beautiful pass. You know what they're doing on that? They're going zone, so they're trying to hand off Trey to the next guy, and that's how he's getting open. Playing out of sorts instead of just trying to put this team away. This is the time you have to put a team like Minnesota away when they're missing so many guys. Watch the screen comes right there, and you hand it right off to Trey off to Malik Beasley. Fella hand off to Trey, and that pass is intercepted. Russell to the corner. Beasley, three, good. Capella tried to jam follow, and it's Anthony Edwards to had that uh, taken away from him by Hill. Trey with a lob, and Capella with a jam. 58-47 with 10 seconds. Here comes the high ball screen. The three by Russell hits it, and a four-point play opportunity coming. Well, how many Scramble these, is on. Minnesota's got it. How many of these rebounds that they've gotten and the Hawks have been able to get their hand on it? 
And D'Angelo Russell that's with a, a leaping leaner that's, for three. That's a gutsy shot there. Minnesota to get back into the game. So in your mind, you should say, we got to come out there and hit these guys first, and they have not done that. You know, when you got teams that you're supposed to beat, those are the teams you put away. Mm -hmm. John Collins drills a three-pointer. John to the bucket. Well, John is starting to pick it up here. Edwards looking for a shot. Keeps the dribble low. Now from 15. Puts it in. Use those tools against right. a pretty good defender in Hunter. Right. Herter lobs it. Yes. Clint reverses it. Oh, Collins travels. He sure did. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get a little closer. <laughs> yes. And a three-pointer by DeAndre Hunter brings a Minnesota timeout. That were expected to come in and give you big things off the bench. Yeah, obviously, you, just, you want guys to stay healthy. Great. Hunter gets it. There's that ball, ball movement once again. You think it's that coming home jitters for you? How was it for yeah. you coming back home to play for your yeah. first time? Yeah, you want. You, I think you end up doing, woo, woo. John Collins goes upstairs. Kevin Herter, great pass. Minnesota the other way. With McLaughlin. Driving through and laying it in. Great pass. And Capella has it taken right out of his hands. 21 turnovers. And they lay in for Jordan McLaughlin, second-year man from Southern Cal. Brandon Goodwin leans in and scores. Great pick. 10 seconds, 8-7. McLaughlin gets the Davis screen. Moves into the paint. What's he going to do? Capella's all over, but he scored with one uh -oh. second. This Great remains defense. a nine-point game. Well, you know, you should have, you know, John Collins was on the basket. You got to give him the ball and let him see what he can do. But understanding when and when not to do it. Yep. Trey throws it up there. Collins has it. Gives to Clint. Lays it in. D'Angelo Russell back in at the point for Minnesota. Reed takes it up strong with the left hand and scores. Very nice. Very oh, nice. nice. There you're seeing they're doubling Trey off of the off of the any pick and roll that he, he's in, but it creates open shots for the next guy. 87-76. Russell, good. 21 points for D'Angelo Russell right on his average. He should use it. Use it. Gets the screen, turns ball. the corner. Herder. Open shot. Bingo. Again. He's down. Hawks play five on four. Hunter from the corner. Good. DeAndre Hunter with a big three and having his best offensive game of the season. Stop and pop for Goodwin. Taken down by Beasley. Malik ahead to Russell. Three in the wing is good. Trey feeds Capella. Yep. Putting the onus on Trey to find the open man, which he's doing. And that's what he does best. You know, if you're going to send a guy, he's he can make the play. Beasley, can he hit two in a row? Yes, yes. he can. Back-to-back -back threes, and Minnesota has cut it to six. Hawks led by 15 earlier in this final frame. There it is. There's the two guys on him. He has an open shot. Just a little hesitant. Kevin Herter fires. Connects. Hey, 17 bucket. for Kevin. Big bucket. Reed didn't go for the mismatch, but instead it's a neutralizing three by Anthony Edwards. Guard, guard, pick and roll to a high screen. Yep, there it is there. There's the roll. Trey gets the floater going and hits it. Trey to Kevin. Five on the shot clock. Herter, Capella. Got to shoot it. Big Clint guy. going up. Hits it. Go. He's a veteran. He knows. He has that internal clock. He knew. <laughs> oh, Come, on. Come on, Russ. And Come that on, man. will do it. I see some of y'all drop them likes. Drop your question now. Somebody said, is Kyrie a top three-point guard? Not anymore. I'm sorry. Um, when he's No. There, sure. No. Then, that's, then he's not a top three-point guard. When he's there, yeah. Then he know then he's not a top three point guard. Again, we again we have to again